Alrighty guys, we will enable out here in the shop tonight. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the 72 inch Copeland snow plow on my Flares General XP. I just finally finished up all the mods and everything I did to it. Um, this is the Conquer version. It's a high lift push tube. Put an actuator on it for the angle. A UHMW wear bar. Had and added the wings to the side. I painted them red. Uh, they came in black just because I'm OCD when I'm doing um, the side markers also added those did the rubber flap up top This actuator was on my zero turn plow. That's getting ready to get converted into a front bucket loader I use that zero turn like a skid steer. You know, that's another project that's coming. But anyways This one's rated for 400 pounds. I have another one that's rated for 1200 pounds But it's quite a bit slower. And it's a lot cheaper brand, but uh, this is the plow show you the lift Another nice thing about the Colton, you get a super high lift. I mean, I can still come up significantly more. But if you're loading and unloading off a trailer, it makes it nice. So there's the up. Do the drop. And drop. Full passenger. Come back. full driver another thing i'm not sold on yet i've never tried it these wing extenders for the plow um, the main reason why i put the wings on it was for the width players has never wet measure what they say like this machine was supposedly 64 inches wide stock it measured 68 and a half i think tire to tire um, that was stock wheels and tires when i put it on the trailer i had a 68 inch wide trailer and thus had to upgrade to a wider trailer after i bought this bad boy but i went with the wings to add the width. Um, now on this general, I have a set of ZRP wheels. They're 15 by five and a half, but I kept it as narrow as I can. With that, the general is still 70 inches wide, uh, sidewall to sidewall with the 370s on it. That's why I went with the wings on the plow. As you can see, it, it definitely adds a little bit of width to it. I'm concerned how it'll do on an angle, but well, time will tell. Like, the plow itself would have worked. The 72-inch plow, if you can tell where that arch is, on the outer end of the angle, it doesn't add much width. Uh, but on the inner side of the angle, it definitely does. We'll see how they work when we get our snow. We're supposed to get our first good snow uh, Thursday and Friday this week. So, we'll see how it does. Now, I'll do a quick uh, install and removal. Show you how, guys, how this works. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the pin on that passenger side. I got the rock lights on for uh, backlighting. Getting a little bit better at this videotaping. Get this actuator going. Another reason why I do the wireless controls is that way for this exact moment right here. That way I can get in the stuff and work smarter, not harder. All right, let's drop that winch out. Okay. Give you guys a highlight of the hand function. Okay, that's disconnected. Simple as that. Now, I'm gonna imitate a time, say it wasn't connected. Kind of doing this backwards but the biggest reason why i chose this plow also is the mounting system and the mounting bracket to the machine um, as you can see even with the mounting bracket installed 
it's still above the bottom of the skid plate. So that means I can leave this on year round and not have to worry about losing any ground clearance issues or anything like that. Um, another problem I had, I haven't included it in this video, I know, but if you haven't checked it out, see my other video where a lot of the 21 XP Generals had a really bad camber problem. Um, I'll put a link in the video and in the description where you can check that out. But I did a lot of fab work fixing this front end to get that camber issue resolved. Um, so this mounting plate and how it attached to the machine had a big role in which brand I went with. I looked at KFI, I looked at you know players, looked at all the other different brands, uh, and this is the simplest. And it took the less, the least amount of work I'd have to do to make it fit my machine since I changed the front end uh, on this General. But as I was saying, you can see it does a great job of actually protecting that front A-arm mount, and it stays above the bottom of the frame. So you can leave this bad boy on year round, never cause any troubles. I don't know, pretty happy with it. All right, so say it's snowing and I need to put the plow on. Slide her over. Lined up about like that. I'm curious the amount of time it takes me to do this. Obviously, I'll get faster as I progress. But, uh, bam. What a good design, man. From an engineering standpoint, standpoint, it's brilliant. Oh yeah, it's not plugged in. That's why it's not moving. And in all reality, one pin on the driver's side is probably enough. I can't imagine that ever coming out and vibrating, but... Simple as that. You can, excuse me, Bubby. Go lay on your bed. I'm sorry. But at full angle, you can see... Now, obviously, the actuator limits it a little bit a little bit from going full travel. Um, but there she is. Like, the lift height is awesome.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 